Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, so uh, I'm at the car route today, I actually got up late, um, I was hoping to get up for about quarter past five if I was going, the reason I got up late is normally my body just wakes me up straight away, it's cool, you know, I'm really good at getting up, but um, basically when I went to sleep I wasn't sure whether I was going or not, my brain was undecided because um, I saw on the weather that it was going to rain overnight, that, or it had the potential to rain overnight and stuff, so because I wasn't sure when, you know, at the moment I fell asleep, I think my body wasn't sure, it was like undecided whether to wake me up or not, so um, I got up at about quarter past six, so it wasn't really late, you know, it was fine, um, and then I got down here for maybe just shy of seven, um, you know, like maybe 6.55 or 6.50, um, it's now quarter past eight, uh, I got a few bits, so you know, it's been okay, um, obviously there was already a row or two of cars already set up and stuff, so if I had got here uh, maybe a little bit earlier like I was hoping to, um, I would have, you know, maybe uh, got a few more bargains, the competition was stiff today, you may have seen it in a few of the clips, or maybe one of the clips, I think I tried to get a little bit of footage of uh, one of the kind of hordes of dealers, um, but yeah, I'll, I've done a bit of filming, I'll add this into the video, I've got another car boot to go to now, and uh, at the end of the video I'll do a haul, I assume, something like that, so I'll see you very soon guys. Right guys, I am back home now, so without further ado, I shall get on with the haul video. So, um, first off with the, this pair of brass candelabras, quite nice, you know, nothing really, really special, but they're just quite nice. Um, so yeah, pair of those, I paid six quid for them, I needed to buy something just to get my, you know, my feet wet, get the ball rolling, so, you know, I paid maybe a little bit more than I would have liked to, maybe would have liked to pay more for your four pound, but, you know, still, I'll probably be looking about £25 plus postage, that sort of region. Maybe a little bit more if I can push that. But, yeah, um, quite happy with those, you know, still. Nice first purchase of the day. Um, so, that's those. Something that I got a little bit later on was this uh, brand new and sealed. As you can see, it does have a security tag on, so I'm going to have to get that off. Brand new and sealed Alien Predator Total Destruction uh, DVD Collection. Um, 
And yeah, I paid a quid for it on Amazon. It goes for 40 quid. Gonna have to double check the sales frequency on Camel just to make sure that, that I do actually want to go ahead and send it in. Um, but yeah, even on eBay, you know, for a quid, I'm not gonna go far wrong, even if I do have to sell it on eBay. So yeah, pretty happy with that one. Um, next. I had a little bit of a weak moment because I saw these and they're not even worth it really for two quid each but you know me and Lego I just can't I can't resist you know if it's sealed I just have to pick it up I just can't resist so um, I got this Brickheads Batgirl which the packaging is all kind of bent in and stuff it is brand new and sealed but the packaging is pretty damaged uh, I got this for two quid and I got this uh, Duplo set for two quid they're not, probably not even worth selling to be honest, but I'm just going to bung them away and just, I don't know, put, put them away, see if they're worth anything in a few years, because I just can't resist, I, I've just got an addiction to buying Lego whenever I see it. Um, but I suppose also you don't see Lego that much brand new and sealed at the boot sale, so any little set I just have to, I just have to pick up. Um, next was something a little bit better, was this brand new and sealed uh, classic bullseye. Uh, DVD video game. I know that the uh, presenter on this uh, is it Jim Bowen or something. I'm not. I don't. I'm not too sure of his name. Uh, but I know he's died recently, so I thought that this might be worth a little bit more. Uh, it's gone used for about twelve ninety nine. So I don't know. Brand new and sealed, maybe twenty quid, something like that. Paid one fifty though, so I can't go wrong on that one. Um, next, we'll do some gaming stuff. So I've got Star Wars Battlefront on the PS2. Most of these I paid a quid for. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront on the PS2. I think that was just shy of a tenner or around a tenner. Uh, we've got Star Wars uh, on the original Xbox. Star Wars uh, 2. Lego Star Wars 2 even. Um, yeah, it doesn't really go for much like 6, 7 quid at a push. But what I might do is try and see if I can't find another original Xbox Lego Star Wars game and bundle it with it. Uh, next was something that actually has come down in value a little bit, um, which is a PS2 Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Um, but someone has got 10 quid for this, uh, not mega recently, but they have got 10 quid, it is in the solds. And uh, mine is in really nice condition, there's not a scratch on the disc, and the manual is in good condition. So I might shoot for a tenner and see if I get that, but otherwise it would probably be maybe 7, 8 quid. So uh, yeah, paid a quid for that. Uh, Destroy All Humans, looking maybe about 12 quid for that one. Again, I paid a quid. Uh, Simpsons Hit and Run, thought this might be worth more than it is, but again, it's that sort of £10 range, maybe a little bit more. Might be, it might be more on Amazon, but I've not got a, an original Xbox to test it, and I don't particularly do video games on Amazon anymore. Um, but yeah, so uh, 10 maybe 12 quid, something like that. And then again, something I thought would be worth more, I paid 2 quid for this from the indoor boot sale. Um, which, to be honest, wasn't very good, actually. You know, I only got a couple of items. But, uh, yeah, paid two quid for that. And, again, maybe about 10 to 12 quid kind of range. But I thought it'd be a bit better than that. But still, from two quid, it's a nice large letter job. So I'll still pick it up. Um, so, yeah, that's the game stuff. Uh, I've done that. Uh, next was something I paid a fiver for. And I thought I'd be solid on this. I thought, five quid for this, it'll probably be, like, 30 quid. But for whatever reason, this particular lens isn't that great. Um, so as I say, I paid a fiver for this. It's a Vivitar 35-105mm 1.3.5 or something. I don't know. I'm just I'm just reading out the words on this. But anyway, it looks like a pretty cool lens. It's a Vivitar one. But it's only sold for £15 plus postage. There isn't any on though. So I paid a fiver for it. If I can squeeze 20 out of it plus postage then I'm happy, and at least I know that, you know, this one isn't that valuable, so if I was picking it up in future, really I'd only want to pay about three quid for it. But, you know, I thought, I'll take a stab on that at fiver. So I won't lose money on it, I'll make a bit of profit, but, uh, yeah, not as much as I was hoping. I was hoping maybe it'd be about 30 quid. Um, but, yeah, that's that one. I got um, one item of clothing. It's like this uh, Ralph Lauren polo shirt. Uh, now, I don't know why, but I always see, see Ralph Lauren. I don't know whether it's fake or anything, the things I'm seeing. I mean, not this one in particular, but, you know, I see a lot of it, and I'm not sure that some of it may be fake or something, but because I just see that much of it. Um, but it's like a pinky one, as I say. It's like a polo shirt. It's got the little uh, green Ralph Lauren. I don't know if you can see that. A uh, green Ralph Lauren horse thing there. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Paid a quid. 
20 quid, something like that, I'm imagining. So, yeah, that's that. You know me, I don't particularly like clothing, but I can't resist picking it up every now and then for some weird reason. Um, but, yeah, so that's that one. Um, and then, I think, finally, yeah, finally, I got uh, four of these Leonardo collection figures. I've had Leonardo collection figures in the past. I've had Leonardo collection porcelain dolls as well in the past. It's very hit or miss. Most of them are very, very standard. Um, but the reason I picked these up was because... Um, I sold yesterday, actually, um, a Leonardo coll collection, um, like, statue of a couple of wolves sat on a rock. It was quite a nice one, and I got about 16 quid for that. So I thought, you know what, I think I might just take a punt on these Leonardo figures. Um, so they were 150 each, so it, you know, it didn't really stand me much to lose anyway, even if I was going to lose anything. Um, and these are vineyard, so obviously to do with uh, wine and grapes and all that sort of stuff. And there's two of these vineyard ones. Um, I'm probably going to shoot for, on this pair, maybe £20 plus postage. There's people who've got them on for more, and then there's people who've got singular figures on for more, or singular figures on for less. But to be honest, they're pretty standard stuff. Uh, the pair for 20 quid, I think that's a fair price. I think that's as much as I'm, I'm going to hope to get for them. So, yeah, from 3 quid to hopefully about 20 quid plus post for the pair. I will be waiting a while on these figures, so I don't think they're going to sell fast. But, yeah, I thought I'd pick them up, have a little punt on them. And then I got another two for, again, 150 each. And these are uh, Gathering Fruit, again, by Leonardo. Um, yeah, so, again, another pair here. Uh, a little, I don't know whether they're a boy or a girl, or whether they're actually meant to be a woman and a man or something, but they look a bit younger figures, these. Um, but yeah, Gathering Fruit by Leonardo. Again, I'm probably going to go for around the £20 plus post on them. But this one is on for about 25 but none have sold for that. Now, that one has sold for 26 on its own, but I don't know whether that's a fluke or not, because there's literally hardly any solds. But then there's ones on for a lot less than the 26. So I think if I just bundle them both together, £20 plus postage, someone's going to come along at some point and want them. Um, I, I think that's a fair price to be in. I don't think, I, if I was, you know, selling them singularly or I was trying to shoot from the moon on them, I think I'd be waiting far too long uh, because, as I say, they are pretty standard figures. They're not anything amazing. So, um, yeah, that's everything anyway. Um, stiff competition today, actually, also, with the games, um, I was lucky to get these, because a lot, about five of these games were on a, basically, there was a woman who set up, and she had boxes of stuff, and I thought it was just, like, new stock, I thought, they were all in, you know, nice boxes, like, you know, uh, cardboard boxes that hadn't even been used, um, and I thought, oh, she's just gonna pull out a load of new stock, you know, and it won't be anything, really, so I walked past, and then I walked back and she had loads of games on the table and she was shoveling all these games out of these boxes. Um, and I heard, overheard her with one of the guys, one of the resellers, who had already kind of cleaned up, basically. But I overheard her talking to him and uh, she'd been a gaming reseller for a long time and she was just, like, clearing it, basically. So that's why I got some games there. Obviously, I didn't have the pick of a bunch because that other guy... Um, who's very confident, I've seen him quite a lot at the boot sale, and all power to him, he's just shot over, obviously, because I hadn't seen the opportunity, he shot over, asked if there was any video games, obviously then he found out that she, she had got a whole bunch of video games, and he absolutely cleaned up, he had Mega Drive games, he had, uh, I think he had Sega CD, I mean, I, I've had a Sega CD before, but it can get a little bit on your nerves when someone else goes in and grabs one like that, but Sega CD... He had uh, loads of, you know, Xbox 360, you know, loads of games, but um, yeah, all power to him. He made the split decision to go over there and at least ask, and that's what you get, you know, if you ask and, you, uh, and you're very forward and you're confident, then, you know, you can get some amazing pickups like that. And these things happen at the boot sale all the time, so it's very much uh, worth, you know, asking, going down, going round, talking to people. And yeah, sometimes you're going to miss things like I did today, but... You know, you have to learn from that as well and move on. Anyway, I won't ramble any longer. I will leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a big thumbs up down below. If you have any comments, questions, or queries, again, down in the uh, comments box down below. And I will see you in the next one, guys. So see you very soon.